Hi everybody, hope you're well. Now, the Oxford English Dictionary defines deluxe as luxurious, sumptuous, of a superior kind. Interesting. I'm done here at Bailey of Bristol today to have a look at the brand new Unicorn Deluxe, which is going to be available for 2025. We've got two layouts to have a look at today. We've got the Cabrera over here and the Vigo over here, both of them single axle caravans. I haven't looked around them too much inside just of yet. I thought we'd make a full investigation together so you can see my reaction and see what your thoughts are as well. I've got a list of things and features which have changed since the last iteration. So why don't we kick off and have a look around the Cabrera? Okay, so let's have a look at the Cabrera first of all. And uh, let's start at the front. So we can see we've got some new uh, deluxe typography underneath the main unicorn name to let you know that it is deluxe. Not sure I like that, but it's there. Um, just go through some of the essentials. Obviously, Alco hitch, stabilizer hitch. It's got ATC on board. You would expect that from a unicorn. Um, so yeah, usual story there at the front. Let's have a look down the side. Now the unicorn name, I don't know if you can see that, but that's actually quite chunky there. So it sticks out quite a bit, so it's quite thick. It's quite nice. And the deluxe badge as well. It seems to be one piece. 3D sticks out bit, it's quite nice, like that. Um, you'd expect a gas pointer down the front there. Storage under the front seat, no front locker, being a Bailey. Uh, look at the wheels here, they're very nice. Black wheels, reminiscent of the old black edition. Big uh, fridge vents there. That's a telltale sign that there's a big fridge inside. Magnetic locks for the first time here on a Bailey. So there's no more catch on the back there. It's magnetically held in place. You find that on the Swift and the Coachman quite a lot. Under storage there, because this is the Cabrera, this is the end bed mid washroom layout. So we've got storage under the bed and I imagine that would go right through to the other side. Okay, let's go on to the back because there's an important addition. The return of the high level rear brake light. Should never have gone away that, but I'm glad to see it's back. Other than that, standard rear end. So a quick look around the other side. And it's the usual story. We've got a uh, service light at the top there, electric, EHU input at the front, then it's the water, outlet there for the uh, heating, outer heating, gas locker, then we've got the toilet and the flush. You can just see underneath there is the waste outlets, and then as suspected we've got more storage under the bed, so that's a through locker all the way underneath. So that's a quick look around the exterior. Let's have a look inside. So this one has got the standard upholstery. I'll put on screen the name of this one in a moment. So there is no longer a radio included in the uh, caravan. The speaker grills are now blanked off. And what we do have is a sound bar. There is a wireless charging point here at the front of the caravan. And what would have been where the radio would have gone is now an empty cupboard. More storage here. Yep and more storage here. Oh, look at that, pots and pans and a cup of tea. Oh, fantastic. Good stuff. I like the new look cupboards. I like this. I'll put on screen what that is. No plate rack. I'm loving this. I love that. That's very nice. A uh, shelf here with a chopping board on the underside. Now, Alicanto owners will know the trials and tribulations of these things, um, that they're quite thick and they fall off and they break. This, it looks to be quite thin. So hopefully it's not gonna suffer the same faults that we've had on the Alicantos. Uh, big old sink, but check that out. Can you guess what it is yet? The, um, tap comes off like so so it's great for washing veggies or washing anything further down in the sink like that that's very nice 
uh, worktop, three burner hobs and a hot plate, separate grill and oven. Yeah, and plenty and plenty of storage and cupboards and stuff. Now, how the hell do you open that? Oh, there, there's a catch there. Wow, that's a big old drawer. Soft clothes, as you expect. There's a catch down here. Yeah, big drawers, big drawers. Now, one thing I've noticed is the wine rack has gone from here and that is replaced with, oh, a much, much more usable space. Uh, you can keep uh, jars of pickles and bits and bobs and bottles of oils and wine if you do drink wine in there. And that's very nice. And then storage underneath the cooker. Swinging round, we've got storage. Is that um, opening? Yes. Storage there. Reminds me of the Alicanto, actually. Storage there for bits and bobs. And then we've got this thing here. I don't know if you can see that. It's zonal and it's changing from cool white to warm white, like that. That's a really nice touch. Uh, the fridge is a Thetford. Gone is the Dometic. It's now a Thetford with uh, internal ice box, cool box, fridge, freezer. That's the word, freezer. Internal freezer and lots and lots and lots of storage for lots and lots of food. Must admit, do like that bucket star there for the um, salad and bits and bobs there. It means you can pull the whole thing out and use that. That's quite usable. Um, but yes, it doesn't open both way around, only one way. Okay, let's go into the bathroom and let's have a look here in the shower. And that's nice. Love that display. Being a single axle and being mid washroom, little bit of intrusion there from the wheel in the wheel arch. Like it though, it's a big old space. Not sure about that, but somewhere to put your uh, shampoo bottles, etc. That's fine. Come at the top there. Obviously, we've got the hanger there to hang damp towels, etc., which is nice. Let's swing around and look at the bathroom. Okay, outer radiator, sink, fit for glue, plenty of storage in the mirrors there, and they both open up as cupboards. Yes, plenty and plenty of space. Mmm. Let's come back here into the bedroom. Not sure I like a mirror on the back of the bed. Anyway, um, nice size bed. I like the the uh, the wardrobes there. They actually cut away into the corners, so you get more space in your bed. Um, I like that. Angela was never a fan of these. When we had a look at previous versions, she wasn't a fan of them because she, she felt it didn't give her enough hanging space for long garments, which I, I kind of get. It's not a problem for me because I don't wear dresses. Well, not during the weekdays anyway. And although there is space down the bottom there. So you know what? Maybe that's better. Yeah, maybe she could stuff a dress or something down there and it would hang. Interesting. Okay. Um, lots of space there above the bed. TV point there and then hanging up areas as well for towels or dressing gowns, etc. So there's mains, there's 12 volts and there's an aerial outlet as well as the quick release mount there for the TV. If I swing round, I'll show you the mirror on the other side. Big pill shaped mirror. Not sure it's my style, but it's very in vogue, I suppose. Um, storage there for bits and bobs, makeup, vanity units. But if you notice here, these two blue dots here, this is the lighting. They switch on and switch off. I'll be honest, I don't know how much those blue lights would annoy me at night, but there we are. Mains outlet there as well, so perfect placement for hair um, tongs or other bits and bobs that you may need to plug in here in the back of the van. So let's have a look down the front there again.
So there you go, that's the Cabrera. What are your thoughts? What do you think of it? I quite like it, in fact. But there's another layout we need to have a look at, and it's the Vigo, tucked just behind the caravan behind me. Let's go have a quick look. Okay, so here we are on the Vigo, and externally, it's not too dissimilar to the Cabrera that we've just had a look at. One thing I didn't mention is not only do you have the gas outlet there, like before, but we also have a mains outlet here as well. And I think there is also a TV outlet there as well, so you can watch TV in the morning. There is one subtle change in here straight away I can see, and that is that the fabric is the optional fabric with the AquaClean. I'll put on the screen the actual naming of it. So it's slightly different interior with the fabric. And we've got some different fluffy cushions. I love those. I do like the bolsters though. They're very nice, like these, very pleasant. Uh, same setup here in the kitchen, um, same sink, same everything. In fact, everything is the same in this caravan up to the fridge and this bulkhead. And then from here onwards, it's different. So whereas in the Cabrera, this would now be the bathroom, this is now the transverse bed. So let's start at the bottom of the bed. We've got a big pill-shaped mirror again in here. Yeah, you can see me in the in the mirror there, reflecting in the mirror here. <laughs> so um, yes, lots of storage down here and a nice little work surface. Is there a mains outlet there? There is indeed. There's a nice mains outlet down the bottom there. Perfect if you need to each plug anything into charge up or use a low power hairdryer, etc. The curtains aren't actually curtains. They're, power f they're the, the panels again, um, which seems to be the theme at the moment. And that seems to work okay. Big windows. And then over here, we've got a mount for the TV in the corner. The 12 volts, the mains and the aerial connections are there up there. Plenty of hooks for stuff, hang up, be it a towel, be it a dressing room, be it a wet coat or what have you. Uh, light switch there, I don't know what that light switch is for. Oh, that's the light switch for the bathroom. Odd that it's down so low, but there we are. Uh, I would have preferred it to be up slightly higher. Right, let's just turn around and let's have a look here at the bed. So the same configuration as we had before, we've got the wardrobes which cut in a little bit, which means that you've got a bigger bed. Mirror again on the headrest, not too sure about that, as I've already mentioned. Fluffy pillows, fluffy cushions, that's part of the optional fabric uh, bed pack, I imagine. Uh, outer heating in that side, and the cupboard does indeed drop down so you can have something long in there. And the storage then obviously goes right underneath the bed, as you would see fit. Nice size bed. It's obviously is in its day configuration at the moment. That pulls forward. I'll pull on screen now the various dimensions of the beds. So here we are once again in the bathroom, end washroom, I should say, and that shower is beautiful. I love those designs and I love the way that's backlit. And in fact, I do like the way the shower head is in that corner now, whereas it was in the corner to the left uh, on the previous iteration. Again, hanging point there from the skylight and a little novelty shelf there to put shampoos and shower gels, etc. Same sink little bit different storage underneath the sink, a big cupboard there and a cupboard down the bottom there to put whatever you need. And then we've got this bucket design here. I would have liked that to be like an open lid cupboard maybe, so that you can put stuff in there but it's hidden away. It's great to put a toilet roll maybe, extra toilet rolls, toilet chemicals, uh, I don't know what else you would put in there, a fake plant maybe. Yes, there we are. Um, and as per usual, a clear bathroom window, but like I've said in previous versions, you can get films to cover over those windows. Oh yeah, you'll be seeing that in a project in our caravan soon. Uh, little tiny, is that cupboard? Yes, tiny little cupboard there. 
which is quite nice. Huge, huge storage here. I mean, it's shallow, but it's big. So big bottles of shampoo, big bottles of shower gel. Oh, and obviously you can put your um, toothbrush in there as well. Very nice, compact, but very nice. One thing I did notice is that we've got this big pill-shaped mirror here. Yeah, it's actually a cupboard. So you do have a lot more storage space there as well. Perfect for um, anything you need to get ready in the morning. So that's quite nice. I just don't like the shape of the mirror, but you know, that's my own personal taste. Uh, these are the light switches here. And there we go. That's the Cabrera and the Vigo Unicorn Deluxe for 2025. What are your thoughts? What do you think? A couple of things I really like, the return of the high level brake light there. That should always have been there in my opinion. I don't know why it was lost, but I'm glad to see it returned. A couple of other things I like, the worktops, really like the look of those. Really nice and shiny, really do lift the interior of the van. Uh, I think the choice of the fabrics are fantastic, but I'm not too sure about the mirrors, I'll be honest with you. The oval pill shaped mirrors, I don't know. They're not to my taste anyway. Um, glad to see the inclusion of the ambient light settings. That's really nice. Not too sure about the fitment of where the TVs physically go. We'll have a look at those maybe better in the future with an actual TV in place. But that's only my personal thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below. Once again, many thanks for watching. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon. And if you can do all that, we'll see you in the next upload. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.